What's going on, you guys? Back with another episode. <laughs> well, another video. It's gonna be some. Uh, it's gonna be a couple of my uh, UFC 115 predictions. Uh, I'm not gonna get into all of them right now, but uh, I'm gonna probably make a video about uh, the rest of the fights a little later. But um, all right, I'm gonna jump right into it. Uh, I'm gonna start off with Paulo Thiago taking on uh, Martin Gatman. <clears throat> Man. This has the ability to really be a great fight, you know. Um, I think this is a, a great matchup. Uh, you know, I like the way Martin Catman fights. Uh, you know, he he likes to use his hands, but I, I do I do want to point out a little problem that I think that Martin Catman also has. To me, he doesn't have good like. I know he thinks he you know he probably has good head movement like moving side to side, but for some strange reason, it, it seems like he's always eating shots. Um, for uh, whoever he fights, uh, it, you know, it doesn't really matter if he wins or not. You know, even when he does win fights, it seems like he's always getting hit in his face. You know, always taking really hard shots, and I think that's because his striking defense sucks. You know what I mean? Uh, not to say that he can't get better at it, but I think he needs to work on that. But he has some great striking, but his striking defense, you know, it, it's it's not so good. You know, he's always taking punishment, and I and I think that's a bad thing when you're fighting a guy like Paulo Thiago because he has some very unorthodox striking but man it's effective you know and uh we got some good hands you know we've seen that you know obviously with the knockout of, of Koshek and um man I, I man I, I like Paulo Thiago man I, I think that I think one day man he may get a title shot man I'm saying this dude is real good you know only dude he's really lost to is John Fitch and man you know John Fitch um <clears throat> he's a grinder and, he beats guys, you know, uh, you know, but the same way, you know, you know, it, uh, wrestling, you know, grinding it out, you know. But um, but I, I think that Paulo Thiago also has to uh, work on some. Uh, if he wants to get a title shot one day, he needs to work on some uh, wrestling defenses, and, you know, and tighten up on, uh, you know, just tighten up in that area right there. But yeah, on, on this fight, I think this is uh, uh um. I think this fight is gonna go in Paulo Thiago's way. It could he, he could go either way, but. I think that um, Martin Kevin, I don't think he has the power to knock out Paulo Thiago. I could be wrong. Anything could happen. But uh, I got to go with Paulo Thiago. Uh, I think he, he may knock out Martin Kevin or either uh, submit him like he did John Fitch. Um, you know, set him up with a uh, big, you know, some 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 big strike and uh, drop, you know, get the drop on him and, um, you know, submit him. You know, or either he could knock him out or TKO him. But uh, I don't see this fight going to a decision, but it very well could. And if it does, I still got to go at uh, Paulo Thiago. You know, I just think that Martin Catman is a very exciting style of fighting. And uh, I don't think we'll ever see him be a champion, you know, no matter what. Because it's just his, you know, his style, you know, um, his, his wrestling is not bad, but it's not great. Uh, I haven't seen really his ground game too much, but it's it's a, it, he is a nice ground game. He has some good strikes. and uh, But like I say, you know, it's just his style, man. His ability to get hit is just uh, too good. You know, he he knows how to get hit. And uh, so, anyways, I got to go with Paulo Thiago in that. Uh, second fight, got to go with Pat Berry versus Crow Cop. <clears throat> I do not know where to pick in this fight. Part of me wants to pick Pat Berry because the Crow Cop has been getting his ass whooped for the last couple of fights. But Crow Cop is still one of my favorite fighters, man. And I want to see him do good. And I want to see him bounce back. And I have faith in him. I don't think age is a factor, you know. I just think that, I, you know, I had a video on this, you know, of uh, MMA fighters on enhancement drugs. I just think that a lot of guys over there in Pride, no disrespect, I just think they were on enhancement drugs. And then when they came to the UFC, they weren't able to do them anymore. And uh, they just not so good, you know. If you look, a lot of those guys, like Rance Page Jackson, he was able to pick guys up over his head and slam them. And, you know, uh, you know, uh, hey, man, you know, I haven't seen him slam anybody in years, you know. Um. It's a lot of these guys, man. They're just not that good, you know, whenever they come from over there at Pride. You know, it's just been a couple of them who've, who've had great success, like Anderson Silva and uh, a couple other guys. <clears throat> but um, I got to go with Crow Cop in this fight. If Crow Cop fights smart and he comes back hard, comes back with a vengeance, I actually think he can beat Pat Berry in a decision or a, third, a late third round TKO stoppage. But if Pat Bear is going to win this fight, he's going to win by knockout in the first round or the beginning of the second round, you know, or TKO. But other than that, I got to go with Crow Cop. 
uh, this video is going to go into two. So uh, you guys stay tuned for the uh, next part of this video.